Good morning, my name is Matthew Stones from Axel and today I'm making a very short video to demonstrate the USB redirection which is a component of MotorFX and supplied standard with Windows on Windows 2012. So first to show it working we have a terminal here which is already configured and if I attach various USB peripherals to it then automatically the memory stick is seen, there's no need to do anything else. The USB device is logically mapped directly back to the server. Now the real benefit is that you can now use USB peripherals that before weren't available on the clients. For example, if I attach a webcam, then the webcam is now visible. I'll show that working later. And uh, certainly in theory, all peripherals will work. Um, in practice, we, we can't test them all, but uh, the actual mechanism which we have built in just maps the device back to the server. So we have to assume that Microsoft have built in the generic drivers into the operating system of the server. Uh, if you plug in an audio uh, headset, then here is the Logitech USB device shown. Um, now I'll show how that's set up, which is very simple, and then I'll go into the more complex parts of it, which basically revolve around the fact that there is the original USB redirection for certain types of devices, for example, audio mass storage and printers. And then there's also this generic USB redirection. And there could be situations where you wouldn't use one or the other. So we've built various stages where you can decide or where you can set the terminal up to use one type of redirection for one type of peripheral or one individual peripheral or set it up for all peripherals to be redirected as we have here. To set up, enter setup, which you do by entering control, alt escape, select sessions, whichever session you're working with and down the bottom we have redirected resources and then enable USB ports, remote FX, enable that, and quite possibly the audio processing. The reason why we have a separate audio setting here is that the peripheral may well, for example, be a webcam which has a video, uh, your generic USB aspect to it, and also audio. And you may not want to have both processed in the same way. Quit out and save. connect and it's working and I'll attach my webcam through VLC if I do a open capture device and play you'll get a snapshot of my untidy office Okay, now I mentioned that there are various settings whereby you can control either by class or by individual product whether you use this new generic USB redirection which should work for all devices or whether you want to use the original USB redirection for certain devices. Uh, Microsoft do recommend using the original USB redirection where you can. Um, so we follow suit and give you the option to do one or the other. So to control what happens when you connect various peripherals, we give various options. So from configuration, which is control alt escape, terminal global RDP ICA, up at the top we have eligible devices, and I'll zoom in to make this clearer. Now there are various combinations of how you can control things here and I won't go through everything because it will get very complicated I'll just go over the basics so in a nutshell you can specify at a very high level whether you want all devices of a certain class to be automatically redirected using this new method so you can specify mass storage which includes memory sticks of course audio devices 
video devices and other devices. Uh, scanners are conspicuous by their absence. They don't have their own unique USB class, so they would be categorized under other. So if you specify yes to any or all of those, then any or all of those peripherals will automatically be uh, passed through and mapped to the server. And that probably is, is how you would require it in most cases. Now there are situations where you might want to have specific products treated differently and this is where it can get complicated because there is obviously overlap between the old method of redirection and the new method of redirection. Uh, so you could, for example, want to have some memory sticks to be redirected using the original method, which Microsoft recommend, and other memory sticks you may have to use the new method because, for example, they are encrypted and they require the second partition to be visible to access the encryption mechanism. So what we provided is up at the top here where you can specify what entire classes or how entire classes are treated and down the bottom you can specify by the vendor ID and the product ID how individual products are listed. Now it's not always easy to know what the individual vendor ID and product ID is of a USB device so to make that easy if you connect if you click on connected devices down here that will list all products which you connect which you have connected I'll connect a memory stick just for the example refresh so here's my cruiser blade memory stick if I click on that and then click on USB redirection illegible and exit now the cruiser blade memory stick is in that particular list so even if mass storage is turned off up here that particular memory stick or that type of memory stick will be treated differently and will be redirected so it does get complicated and there are lots of combinations of how you can have different products being treated differently um, we, we basically have followed the the role that Microsoft set um, I imagine in most cases you would have all products of a certain class uh, redirected but it's not up to us to enforce that Right. the other thing I want to quickly show is you can control what happens when a session configures there are three options you can automatically have the device connected or mapped through you can be prompted on each connection whether you want that device to be mapped through or you can do nothing I ignore that device and it won't be seen similarly when the session is connected and you then connect a, a peripheral as I was doing earlier you can specify to connect automatically to be prompted each time and you can say yes or no to each product each peripheral or you can do nothing I will set it now to ask each time on that setting and quickly show you what that involves so now we'll connect so now on initial connection I'm prompted as to whether or not I want my webcam up here and the memory stick to be visible I will put a cross against both of those and click and they'll be seen there's the webcam and there's the memory stick if I pull them out they'll disappear and because I had the prompt me setting set if I reattach them I'm now prompted as to whether I want to reconnect them or not. So I will say yes to the webcam and no to the memory stick. And the memory stick isn't showing. And if I press Control Alt U, I get that familiar memory again and I can now specify the cruise blade memory stick. And that will now appear. So we've provided the wherewithal to have any combination of products automatically connected to be prompted or not to be connected or for some products to be connected. Uh, I apologise that it, it is kind of complicated to explain all the various scenarios and combinations but uh, they're all covered and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us. So if you have any questions please contact your local Axel office. Our details can be found via our website and I'll post up details just after the video. Thank you very much and bye for now.